here with Mike at KnobCon. Hey. Hey, Mike. What you got going? going? Uh, so here at Hive Mind Synthesis, we have a few things going on. Uh, really, one of our flagship products is the Honey Light to CV module, which takes any light source. It could be the sun, it could be ambient light, it could be an LED, and converts that to voltage. So we have them set up here with a work stat controlling filter rates and the LFO, and if I shine a flashlight across, just as an example, you can hear how that's affecting the LFO. That'll affect the filter. And you can set them to positive or negative voltage so that you can add them to a molt and really use it to affect things the way that you want. Okay. Available in four colors. <laughs> that's these things right here. Yeah. What do these run? Uh, they are 35 bucks a piece, but if you buy them in multiples, the price goes down a little bit. Two for 60, four for 100 bucks. So it's a super cheap synth toy, something that you don't really find. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The next, we have a uh, really popular product, our Pixie Dance Floor, which is a DIY Eurorack building platform. So if you're creating your own circuits, you spend a lot of time moving things between your breadboard and an actual usable synth. This puts everything on your rack you have positive and negative 12 volt rails with a power switch, so that you can turn things on and off while you work on your circuits. Six jacks, two pots, two switches, really everything that you need to start building your own circuits within your own rack. Uh, it's a project that came out of wondering why we didn't already have one. And then we <laughs> made a whole bunch for our friends and then we're making them for you now too. And. Uh What's the cost on those? Cost on those is only $50 for a full kit with all components. And that's, so this is one complete kit? This one complete kit here on the end, which okay. includes everything blank. These are examples of circuits that we have built. We've got a 555 oscillator based VCO, an envelope generator, and a VCA, just to show the kind of thing that you could build and tinker with within your own rack. Great. And then lastly, we have our Circuit Bent TR505, which is something that I've been working on for decades now. Uh, a lot of people don't like the TR505. They say that it's Roland's worst drum machine. I'm trying to change that by making it something really unique. So this version of the TR505 allows you to use the original sounds if you'd like. It also adds audio glitch switches that will swap instruments around. You have a pattern glitching matrix that will change pattern data randomly. You never really know what you're going to get out of it, which is what's great about it. And then there are also trigger outputs for every drum group that allow you to use it as a percussion sequencer for a modular synth. It even mutes the drum that's playing. So say you have a kick running and you plug something into the kick jack, your kick drum mutes on the drum machine and becomes a trigger. My favorite part about it, though, is the global pitch modification. You can get the original drum sounds out of it. You can bring it up to a real tight click, or you can take it all the way down to crunchy, broken Atari levels of noise, which is where I think this thing really excels. <laughs> That's great. So do you, you, uh, you build these in quantity? Is that? Uh, Right now, I have only a few of them available because they take a long time to build. So sometimes they're waitlisted. Right now, they are available, though. And they kind of trickle out as I'm able to put them together. That sounds really cool. And what do those run? Uh, those run 505 for a 505. <laughs> That's great. It seemed appropriate. <laughs> and where can people go to get these? Uh, you can find them at hivemindsynthesis.com. You can find them in our Etsy shop. Uh, those are the two best places to track us down. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you.